and welcome to this week's video. Following on from Friday's video, I thought I would talk about pannier bags. I had a conversation with a lovely lady outside the bike park last week about which pannier bag I was using and whether I'd recommend it because she couldn't decide between going for a cheap one, which some of the reviews weren't very good, and investing in a more expensive one. So I thought I'd talk through the four that I've got. The collection has kind of grown over the years. Starting with this one, which is the Pendleton Messenger Bag from Holford's at £30. The Cycle of Good palm leaf ones, which came with my elephant bike, but you can buy for £37 plus £6 for the recycled inner tube straps to connect it to the bike. Um, this one, which is a basil black handbag one for £75, which is one I bought recently. And this one, which is another basil bag but a backpack, which was £110, which I also bought again recently. Um, so I thought I'd talk you through what I like and dislike about the different options, so you can see what you think. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Pendleton bag. This is a nice square shaped one with clippy fastenings that you can lengthen and shorten, which means you can change the amount you want in it, which is really handy. Um, it's got a zipped pocket along the front and two little elasticated side pockets and also a strap as well as a little handle here. It has one separated pocket on the inside which is secured with velcro. I bought this bag for my first summer placement and used it for my first and second summer placements but I went off the style with the blue and white dots um, and I broke the fastenings on a barrier riding to work. I just clipped the corner of the bag and the fastening broke. Um, Apart from the colour and design that I went off after I bought it, I do really like this bag because it's nice and rectangular and it holds everything really nicely. Another thing I really like about it is the way you hide the fastenings with a zip but because it goes down, it also velcros to this bit, which means it's not flapping on the pannier rack, which is what the basil handbag does. So for £30, I'd say that's a really good bag. It lasted me two summer placements. And if there wasn't barriers, it would have lasted a lot longer. Um, it's also probably the tattiest bag you'll see in this video because it's the one I've used the most. Next up is this one. Um, I really like it. It works very well on my elephant bike, which you can see in other videos, such as when I unbox my elephant bike or doing errands on my elephant bike. Um, it holds its shape really well. It's very good for carrying milk bottles because they can fit two in and a couple of other bits in one pannier and the rest of what I want to buy in the other. It opens outwards away from the bike and the handles can go make it easier to carry. I wouldn't use this for riding to work, it's not my style, but it looks very nice on the elephant bike and also it's not waterproof. The other thing which makes it better for the elephant bike than using for riding to work is that the straps are little buckles and they're a bit fiddly to get on and off, so this is the first time I've taken them off since I put them on, but I included it in the video because it's one of the pannier bags I have and I do quite like it. Also, I would probably put them on my road bike if I wanted two panniers because I have a pair of these because they came with the elephant bike. Next up is the Basil handbag. The reason I have this one and the backpack is because I saw the, them on a website. So I decided, oh, I'll get the backpack. It'll be more useful for other things like going to the shops or going to the gym. Um, and at the time I wasn't going to work. And then it arrived and we got the email to say, we're going back to the office, so I ordered this one as well. Um, I really like it. I've used it probably 10 times now. It's got a zip at the top and then rolls up, but I have it quite full, um, so I don't roll it to the sides. It's also got a black strap to go 
over, which is very handy for me because I have weak arms and I don't like carrying stuff. Um, it has this pretty little reflectors tassel. It was on that one, but I moved it to the back because I preferred it there. One thing it doesn't have compared to the Pe uh, Pendleton bag is a lot less pockets. It's got one bit at the front, which is my snack pocket, the zipped pocket, with one zip mini zipped pocket on the inside. Um, so it gets a bit messier than the Pendleton bag did. It also squishes my folder a bit, which is A4 and made of paper. But I think that's more the way I organise it. And when I put it at the front and then take it out and then try and squeeze it back in, it gets a bit crumpled. When I rode to work in the rain the other day, it's definitely waterproof. And it looks more like a normal bag than some of the others. Also, it seems to be very sturdy and it has some little spikes on the bottom. And the attachment, so you can't see it, is magnetic or clippy. Um, however, this one flaps up and it flaps on the pannier rack, which is a bit annoying. But one really cool thing about this and the other basil rucksack is that you can slide where you want these, which is really handy because I want to put it as far back as possible so I don't kick it. Um, so yeah, I'm really impressed with that. Overall, it's a great bag and I'm very happy I bought it for starting to cycle to work in my proper job. If you want to watch my first day at work when I was working at home, I've also made a video on that, which I'll leave linked. Finally, the last bag is a Basil rucksack or backpack. Um, I bought this before I bought the other one and I've only used it once because I've not really been anywhere apart from to work. It has a zipped fastening and then rolls up with a strap to clip in there and then to put it on the bike you flip the um, straps around so they don't get in the way. Um, this bit is zipped up whereas the handbag is poppers and then you put it on in the same way. It's got a very nice padded back so it should be comfortable if you want to wear it for a long time off the bike. Um, it also has a light if you put batteries on the inside assuming you want to put it on the non-chain side of your pannier rack it will face backwards on the inside it only has one compartment but it also has a laptop protector which sits in a little bit at the back um, it looks sturdy as i say i haven't used it apart from once which was only a small trip it's also quite big i think it's maybe a litre in capacity bigger than the other bag i probably wouldn't have bought it if I had known we were going back to the office before I bought it. I could have still taken it back, um, but at the moment I'm quite enjoying the luxury of getting paid quite a bit every month, so could afford it. And it is an investment and it will come in handy in the future, but at the moment I'm not using it that much. So in conclusion, I think the bags I would use the most, or the bags I have used the most, are the Pendleton Messenger. And if it was in a different design, I would probably keep this bag um, or the Basil handbag, which looks really smart and at the moment I'm using a lot. I hope this video has been helpful and if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and let me know what other videos you'd like to see about riding to work. Thanks for watching. Bye!